Talk about what a lot of you experience in the overnight hours. If you slept through this all, wow, it was quite the storm overnight. Let's check in with 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin joining us live from Nags Head. So, Megan, give us an idea of what the storm was like passing through the Outer Banks. Well, Dan, here in the Outer Banks, we saw rain definitely pouring down here just minutes ago. Since then, it has flown slowing down. You can see the wind is picking up though you guys here and we know that there is a lot of advice out there to just make sure that people prepare for it to get even worse from right now. We expect a good amount of flooding and more winds to head over this way. You can see this video that we have a fair amount of darkness at this point in time but Dare County is under a state of emergency and so is Hyde County and on Facebook the town of Nags had warned South uh, Sound Side residents to move their cars to higher ground because they expect Nags head and Manio Causeway US 64 to flood at some point. It's really a reminder to not drive through those floodwaters. You guys, we expect a lot more out here. Even just six inches of water can really damage your car. So we'll keep an eye on this ocean behind us too, because it's tough to see in the dark right now, but we expect those high tides coming in and rip tides later on live in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Megan Shin 13 News now. Okay, Megan, thanks. One of the first areas to get hit overnight from Isaiah.